Hello friends and welcome back for what I believe is the 19th episode of Captain Cole's journey through the cataclysm. Which is crazy, he's, he's a real survivor, our captain. He's not the sharpest tool in the shed, but he's six foot three and made of steel, baby, or something. He is tall, I think I've, I think I've changed the height, or I, you know, I've said like three different heights now, but he's somewhere between the six foot one, six foot three. And uh, I don't know if that actually has an effect in game, but I'd like to imagine that it does, and that we're a big boy, with big, big strong arms. Okay, we're in the game. <laughs> we're in the game. So I played on a little, as you can probably tell if you watched the last episode. I ran back to Hubbardton and I grabbed some more loot. And there was nothing really exciting, to be honest. Lots of food, and I think I found a slingshot, which, you know, in theory, pretty funny. Not sure how much use we're going to get out of a slingshot. But I will tell you this, my friend. We found a rifle in that um, bunker that we raided the last time. Let's take a little look-see. Yeah, this one here, the civilian FN whatever. I'm not going to try and say it because I'm going to sound stupid. But uh, this little little friend here, he doesn't have the highest damage, but he's, you know, a, a fairly reasonable rifle. It has fairly reasonable range compared to the other stuff that we have. I mean, it's all pistols and shotguns. So this is good. Uh, it might allow us to approach some issues that we have before, such as the gun show, which was protected by those turrets. We might be able to outrange them now. I don't know. I'm not going to like run in and try immediately. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll do it smart, but I'm starting to see a way back. But our problem is we have no rifle skill. None whatsoever. We have six. <laughs> nice, man. Every time. There's so many 69s in this game. But our marksmanship is at 69, which is decent. Our rifles is a big fat zero. So we want to get our rifles up, but we don't want to use our rifle ammo to do that because it's precious. So I was taking a little cruise and peruse through the crafting menu and I saw this bad boy. I saw a makeshift crossbow. So it's a mod item, MST Extra. I think this is the first time I've ever actually made a mod item uh, on or off camera from that particular mod pack anyway. So we make our makeshift crossbow. We need to make some bolts as well actually, don't we? Oh, this could be a problem. I'm not sure if I'll be able to store these in anything because I know arrows are quite long and you can't just put them in like your normal backpack or whatever. You need a quiver. So hopefully it's not the same with these bolts. Are we wielding? We need to wield the makeshift crossbow and drop our pipe spear and we will grab our bolts. I guess we put them here. Okay, so we can take them. Okay, that's, that's really nice. So what's our focus at? Uh, we need to sleep, but before we do that, I'm going to... Go outside, turn off my flashlight, although it doesn't really matter. So what's the range on this bad boy like? Oh, reload. Okay, so we could hit the target from here, but we'll go to here so he auto-locks to it. So we're on zero right now, FP. So he missed, and we are on... Okay, so two for rifles and 74 for marksmen. So it's, you know, it does, it goes up, but... um. Here's the thing, here's what I have to do, right? So I go P, and I go R, bam, P, then, uh, uh, uh. And uh, as you can imagine, there's an issue here in that I don't think that you want to watch me do Oh, look, our practical skill and marksman went up already. I don't think you're going to want to watch me do that. So, so here's the deal. I think I'm going to do that off camera. Um, maybe sleep first, actually, right? Because we need to get our focus up. So that's what we'll do. We'll pop in. We we'll, uh, maybe have a little butter. Don't question it. We're going to slap five butters in. And then we're going to have... Uh, isn't there like a gummy vitamin that has a joy boost yeah so we'll take gummy vitamin and that should somewhat unbalance the unhappiness from eating the butter yeah it's only minus one because you know whatever this is how it works man apparently so drink some clean water uh, i guess we could like alcohol wipe up okay so that's disinfected okay they're all disinfected and that just needs like a bandage so that's what we'll do we will maybe use the adhesive ones i know they're a bit crapping okay very per probably no point using them We'll use the bleached, um, so that one's not bandaged. And the other ones, I'll just let them tick up. They, they have a little bit. So we're going to sleep at whoa, half 11. That's such a reasonable bedtime for the captain. Normally, he goes to bed at like 3 p.m. Well, not normally. I think we just kind of... Oh, get your bets in. What time is he going to wake up? Going to say 8, 8 a.m., 8 a.m. That's a reasonable sleep as well if he sleeps at 8 a.m. Like, he's functioning like a, like a normal human. Although, you know, there is no time anymore, really, you know. Captain Cole is the only custodian of time. Okay, like, eight, yeah, 
that's within within the hour so we're proud of you captain cole you're up at a normal human hour you're going to have a little breakfast <laughs> a breakfast of some more butter i believe so one two three four and then we're going to eat a vitamin you know what it is this is if any of you're looking for like a healthy diet in real life but you don't want to get depressed over it just eat loads of butter and then um chase it with a gummy vitamin and i'm pretty sure that's that's an efficient way for, for you to go about things anyway we are up we are fed our focus is pretty good so it's time to go outside close the door behind us because we don't want to let the heat out uh reload our makeshift crossbow and fire now i'm i'm not a, a you know a sadist so I'm going to I'm going to stop recording now and I'll pick up with you. I think I'm going to grind this on to level 2. So just for context, uh, we are at 2 in marksmanship, 2% uh, on level 1 of marksmanship and 21% in rifles. It is 852. So I will see you soon. A lot sooner for you than it will be for me, my friends. Thank you. And just like that we're back. Uh, so that kind of sucked. It only took a couple of hours in game, most of which was spent making new bolts because some of them break when you fire them. There's like a chance. And they're crap bolts. They're not good ones. So the chance that they break is quite high. So yeah, I had to make some more. That took a couple hours. But all in, it didn't take that long to actually train up the skills. It just, you know, felt like a long time for me to have to hit that combination of buttons like 200 times. Anyway, marksmanship 2 and 11%. Rifles 1 and 99 you know why that is it's because i wanted you to have all the satisfaction of the payoff and none of the work so this should be it boom so our rifle skill has increased to two which um i'm pretty good with that let's go inside and uh let's see if that opens anything up to us okay no that's weird i thought that that would give us another level in so that uses fabrication and survival okay so it could be survival that we need to raise, or it could be like archery. I think it, I think ar there's a chance that it's archery. So I, I mean, I could be going straight for the same thing, baby. I could be going straight in. We're gonna make ourselves a little bow. We'll get our focus pumping back up because we're listening to some fantastic tunes. Neuro Swing. The intro is too slow for my taste, apparently. So arrows. I think that this could be a problem. This could be um, slightly more annoying if I can't pick the arrows up. I can't believe I'm going to have to do this again. But look, this is the captain's intense training, okay? This is like the montage episode, right? You can put some sort of Eye of the Tiger beat in your in your head. I can't put it in the video because um, YouTube will come to my house and shatter my kneecaps. Did I pick up the arrows? I did pick up the arrows. Okay, that's, that's much less problem problematic than I thought it was going to be. So we're going to drop our makeshift crossbow. And we're going to go outside with our survival bow. Now, this should be better because I don't need to reload it, right? Um, so let's just, you know, tail of the tape. Archery's at a big fat zero, which is um, fine. And our marksmanship, I think, will continue to be contributed to by this. So we'll fire just one off. Oh, we actually hit it. Fair play to you, mate. So that's nine archer. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. I'll do the first one on camera, right? F, P, F, P, F. P. This one's much better because I don't have to manually reload it every time. Um, that was very tedious. But as you can, okay, so there's there's level one in archery. Um, it's it's okay, but it just uh, what? Oh, are my theoretical? Maybe maybe there's. I'm not sure why there would be such a disparity. Okay, the practical and the theoretical raise at different rates for some reason. Maybe that's normal. But anyway, yeah, once again, um, we're going to do a little time traveling and the captain's going to just stand here and he's going to bow it out in the garden. He's David Bowie. Um, and we're, we're going to do that until we ping up the two and then hopefully we can make a better crossbow. Because I wouldn't mind rolling with a crossbow for a while. Um, they're good damage and they'll both they'll train rifles as well. And we'll be able to hurt people before they get to us. Really should have done this a long time ago. So... Let's hope that this works. I think we have the fabrication skills, right? I'm not sure what we need, but I think we're like it's not at zero or anything. Yeah, so two. We could bump that up to three if we need to. If we get our archery to two and we still can't make any cool crossbows, then I will train my fabrication. But friends, I will report my success or failure very soon. Hello. So that one wasn't actually too bad because I can just hold F and go pew, 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 pew. So any second now we should, boom, there we go. Archery two. Show me the crossbow. God damn it. Oh, 
Uh, <laughs> I was really sure it would be there. Maybe survival? Maybe maybe fabrication? I'm not sure what we're lacking on here, to be honest. But look, we're um, we're training up real good. Captain Cole, he's he's becoming, you know, a multifaceted killer. There's there's no weapon that he's not trained with. Actually, that's not true. He has very little weapons training and isn't great at combat at all. But uh, look, it is what it is. It be what it be. Can we read anything that would help us? So there's a shotgun book. Mm. Rifles to one. <laughs> that would have been handy. Well, to be honest, the first level's super easy. So what's a transistor? Why haven't I read these books? I should read these books at least. Anything good. So electronics to three. That's really good. We're going to need to get our electronics up at some point. Um, all of these are good, but they're not going to help our immediate problem. That's good as well. The mechanics. We are going to need to train our mechanics. I wonder how long that'll take. Let's just get an idea. Okay, very, very slowly. Captain Cole is not much of a reader. Uh, well, it's really dark as well. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He, he, he couldn't see the little words on the little page, and that's okay. Molotov cocktail. So we can make, okay, quite a few Molotovs with the gasoline. I suppose that's probably the easiest way to do it. Glass bottles. What do we have in glass bottles? Because we're going to need to empty some out. Okay, so alcohol. Uh, Chardonnay. We can definitely get rid of the Chardonnay because uh, we know where there are kegs of Chardonnay. So we're going to pick that up. We're going to, I mean, I guess we'll drink like f like five Chardonnays and uh, unload the rest into, I guess, like a plastic bottle or something. Into our canteen. No, that's a bit too tempting, isn't it? Uh, we can have another thermos filled with wine for, you know, if times get hard. So we should be able to make a Molotov. Nice, let's do that. Let's make a Molotov. Uh, we'll make it with the glass bottle that's on us. That's the empty one. So we have a Molotov cocktail. Now, we did train our throwing up in the last episode to two, so I'm a bit more confident about that. And we have a lighter with us. Hmm. Hmm. So we might go on a bit of a side quest, which I'm, I'm going to tell you, it's probably not really going to you know, improve our position or anything. Oh, we can wear the bow, can't we? Hmm. Tempting. And I still have the arrows on me, don't I? Or did I drop those? No, I dropped them here. Crude. They're, they're not great, so... No, I don't need the bow. I mean, what's it gonna do? The, the pipe spear is gonna be a much better weapon. Where is the pipe spear? There he is, right on top of him. Okay. We need to find a good horde of them. Don't we? We need to... Something like what was going on with um, our good friend Grocery Bot. Something similar to that. But we don't want to just do it for no reason, right? We, we like Because we could come down here and, you know, kill any of the zombies around that farm field. But what's that really going to do for us? Hmm. We c mm, I was going to say we could use the Molotov at the gun temp, but that's too, too dangerous. I don't want to burn everything down. What do we think? What do we think? Where, where do we want to go and throw a Molotov? Maybe maybe we need to explore past Lexington and see what's down that way. Or maybe we need to push a little down past Hubbardton. That's what we're going to do. We're going to take our cart. We're going to go a little bit down past Hubbardton. Um, Semi-exploratory. Semi because I want to find a big group of zombies and throw a Molotov at them. Captain Cole, you know, you got to have some downtime in the Cataclysm too, man. It can't all be big steps forward you know getting military vehicles and training your sweet sweet archery skills it, it can't all be that sometimes it's got to be walking just walking around okay stop stop auto traveling i'm always really worried about those explosives the landmines at the end of the bridge i could just see that ending very poorly for me so we are making our way back downtown over the bridge Looking for guys to blow them up. Dun, 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 dun. I'm not gonna get to the point where I'm singing to fill dead air. I mean, I'm at, I'm, I'm clearly at that point, but I'm going to take action right now to, to not sing freestyle songs about Captain Cole. Although I have been thinking about a musical episode. Um, whenever we get to like season seven and no, you know, we don't have any ideas anymore, uh, like a zombie-based musical. I don't think it's been done before. So uh, I've been writing some some tunes for that. This isn't true, by the way. This I, I'm not that messed up. Anything nice? Hot rod chassis and suspension handbook, baby. If that doesn't sound like the kind of book we're looking for, that was very convenient, <laughs> considering I just said we need to train. Oh, look at this. I'm so late. Why do I have all this crap with me? Luckily, we have the cart. 
Um, yeah, that was super, super useful, having just said that that's what we're looking for, or that we need to train it. Aluminum bat, I'll take it. For some reason, uh, I can't walk past the baseball bat in this game. Uh, what's semi-rough? Well, it's not much good to me. Football. Football. I'm going to take the football. Can I train something with that? I'm not just doing it for the... Okay, throwing. So we can get our throwing to three with that. What's do And dodge. Okay, we need the... Is it the volleyball I took? Because that's the big earner. No, we're going to throw the football. Uh, we're going to have to drop. We're going to throw it. Duh, duh, go on. Look, geez, he's got some aim on him. This boy, look at that. He could have been a, a, a football man in his time. Let's go see how far that went, actually. Okay, that, do that doesn't seem that impressive, to be fair. Okay, volleyball, where are you at? Wilson, can we can we actually like carve a name onto him? Actually, that doesn't seem like the best idea. We have a permanent marker. We're gonna write on an item. Volleyball. It's oh, it'd be a label, right? So Wilson. So that should name him Wilson. Um, yeah, there's Wilson. Okay, but what we're gonna do? We're actually gonna use the permanent marker again. We're gonna this time. It's a note. And uh, it's just gonna be like a like a little face. So we drew a little face on the ball. So now we've got it. We've you know we've fully descended into insanity. We're hanging around with a volleyball. Uh, it's not a reference to a movie or anything. Um, I, that's just what I would name him. Okay. I think that's that's like everything that we need there. So if anybody sees anything that would have been beneficial to take and I didn't, please do let me know. But I'm not a man to to waste your time you know, painstakingly clicking through every item and try, you know, I don't know if that's what you want. I feel like you're not watching this channel for pro DDA gameplay, you know? Uh, we're just here to experience the captain's big old days together. Why am I not auto-traveling? I don't know. Okay, okay, what is this? <laughs> A Cerberus. I can, I can imagine what the Cerberus is. Uh, so he was to the left, was he? Yeah, there he is. He's a big... Grizzly son of a gun. He has two heads. Two extra heads, so three heads. Okay. I'm not going anywhere near this. Oh, yeah, the, the name. Duh. Um, I'm not going anywhere near that. We could maybe, like, make our way down left. I know I could I could Molotov the Cerberus, right? But that's not funny. Or it's it's not funny to, to the extent that I want it to be funny. I, I want to see, you know, piles of flaming... Bo oh, God, the Cerberus, man. He's... he's Really dominating that side of the road, but that's okay. We'll stick to our side of the road. I'm not scared of no bear. Well, I, I probably am, to be honest. Especially a bear with three heads. That's crazy. That's that's worse than any bear I've ever seen. I haven't seen that many bears. Maybe like two. I've seen bears on TV and stuff, though. I mean, I know what a bear is. Don't don't get me wrong. Okay, so another motel, man. There's so so many motels around here. What's this big building? Was that okay? A hunting lodge. I think they can be quite good, actually, can't they? Do we have our hacks? Okay, not like in the pits in the ground. That's that's a bad sign. Okay, let's get let's get up here. Let's not be stupid about this. Let's um, dump our little handy cart here. God, that's a nice place for him. We're going to drop off our salt pack, and let's just check what we have. Okay, so I'm not seeing any bandages. Okay, so why is it not fitting in our pockets? I thought our army pants were set up to allow that okay we're not going to worry about that for now we can just run back if we need to i think i just need to change the white list but i can do that in a bit i did drop the thing though right yeah 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 yeah. we're good we're good okay hey guys um come on up this way we're having big no they're just going look at this look at this man look at look at this one down here just he's out he's away he saw me and he's like nah this guy sucks captain cole's a loser i don't want to talk to him i don't want to associate with him Okay, I think these are the windows, right? I think these are the ones that we need to uh, hacksaw our way through, but maybe there's no point doing that until, mm, until we've confirmed that the building is empty. So we're going to stealth our way in here. We're a bit, okay. There's a zombie runner. They're quick. Oh, you know what though? He's kind of stuck, isn't he? No, he's not stuck at all. Okay, we got, a, we got quite a few runners actually. So we're going to get him here. Hopefully he comes down onto that chair, which I didn't really get to use the range for that, but whatever, that's fine. Come on. Yeah, 28, 
Yeah, oh, that's so good. We stunned him, and I think because we stunned him, the other one can't get past as easy. So we're just going to fight this one up close. Nice, that's three kills, and I don't think we took any damage there. So that's great. We're going to... Oh, uh, no, we're not, actually. I was going to say we'll push our advantage, but we're going to catch our breath, and we will make our way around. Okay. Okay, another MP3 player. We don't need it. Ooh, booksy booksies. I thought this would be like a... Sp I guess I was thinking of a hunting blind. Uh, I can't, there's no point really looking at these things until I'm in with my backpack and we're raiding the place. Okay, this is quieter than I thought it would be. I, I had a feeling this building was going to be problematic. Uh, we haven't been upstairs or downstairs yet though, so... Not outside of the realms of possibility that things could go downhill. Ooh, lots of cans of beer. That's what the captain wants. And sugar with which we can make more beer, maybe. I don't know. Um, okay, so that's like all of downstairs, or ground floor, I should say. So let's check upstairs. Oh, look at this. Look at this real estate. I think I actually have been in one of these buildings before, but this is rotated. <laughs> I think that's what it is. It's just at a different angle, because I remember I remember this layout before. Um, or seeing this layout before, I should say. Okay. Nice! This is empty. I thought that this would be like packed to be honest, but it is not that bad at all. So there doesn't seem to be anything too 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 useful. Did we bring the hacksaw? It'll be outside, won't it actually? In the So this was kind of an unexpected little thing. Uh, we'll take the cart with us, I suppose. There should, doesn't seem to be too much trouble around here, so. In the front door. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check downstairs. I'll do my civic duty. Just make sure. I'm gonna get the flashlight on. Oh, I hate, I hate coming downstairs like this. Okay. Oh. Well, we, we do have a bike. Are the wheels broken? The wheels are always broken. Oh, no, this one's this one's good, actually. But you're no good to us, friend. Does it fold? No. How do you get it upstairs? Can you drag vehicles upstairs now? No. So I guess it's just your downstairs bike. Okay, we'll have a little downstairs cycle. Okay, that was fun. So. Let us switch our flashlight off. So, can I... Why would the curtain stop me, actually? That would be insanely stupid. So, cut metal. Yeah, these have metal bars on them. And now we just need to smashy smashy. And we are in. Could I have cut this down, actually? That probably would have been slightly safer. Um, Let's see. No. No metal to cut. So, that's good. Okay, I don't need food, really. Flare. Come on, you know what I'm looking for. Mm, charcoal. Nah, charcoal's really easy to make. Compot. Mmm. Delicious. A wood axe. No, 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 no. Look at that damage. Phenomenal. Um, doesn't have the same advantage with the reach, but it is going to be hitting harder. I mean, that reach has been keeping us alive, though. You know, let's 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 not be stupid about this. So, where's the axe? What is the hit on the axe? To hit bonus, none. And what is it on the spear? None. So, hmm. A mess kit? I think I have one. Ah, we'll take it just in case. I, I like stuff like that. We've got all these things. Um, not going to take any more knives because, God, we have a lot of knives. I'll take the maple syrup, though. That stuff, that's great, man. Keeps you going. Uh, Hoverton Survivor's map. Tempted. Tempted, even though I hate what the maps do when you use them. Or I hate the way it displays. I don't hate what they do, or I just would never use them. But I, I just... What's a whistle multi-tool? Whistle, thermometer, magnifying glass, and compass. That sounds incredible, to be fair. I'll take the survival stuff purely for like the role playing aspect. I don't think we're ever going to need it, but the captain's not going to walk past that stuff, man. Don't be crazy. So what are they hunting with in here? Not guns, apparently. Um, oh, pocket survival guide. That, that could be good too. Oh, a hammock. Okay. I like the sound of that. I could see I could see the captain sleeping on a hammock real good. A hexamine stove. What do you use to cook with? Hexamine tablets. Probably not something I can get that commonly, so probably not that much use to me. This is really disappointing. I expected this to be uh, crazy. I and mean, there's plenty of food and stuff, you know, I, I guess if, if that's what you want, we'll have some mushroom soup and some compote. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna drink hella compote actually. So we're full, we're hydrated, we're disappointed with the hole, but you know it is what it is. 
Oh, it's getting to be getting to be a little bit dark. I might do something crazy, guys. Um, I might actually sleep overnight in in the hunting lodge upstairs. But I think before I do that, yeah, because I don't, I, I kind of want to continue down this road, right? I kind of want to explore a bit more. But we need to take these guys out. We need to do our due diligence, civic duty. Uh, we're the only person that can. To be honest, I think it's a calling to Captain Aurelio Cole now. He he feels powerful. He knows he's the man for the job. He knows uh, ain't nobody gonna stop him. Ain't nobody. Go okay, well, all of those zombies, you know, combined, they could probably probably stop me quite easily. But uh, is this worth Molotoving? Not really. I, I don't really want to burn the motel down. I want a nice tight, satisfying crowd to, to Molotov. You know what I mean, grocery bot style. I, I want that, that's what I want, and I will settle for no less. I'm not wasting it on like one zombie, just, just to see what it looks like, okay. Okay, run. As you, what fell? Oh, did you, he, he threw my torch in the pool. He, did you break my torch? Well, it's heavy duty, so I, I wouldn't like to think so, you know? I don't have a flashlight on or anything, do I know? It's just, uh, I'm still a little bit lit up from the sun going down, I think. Or maybe I do have, a, like, a light on. No. Sorry, paranoid. Okay, this is good, actually. Uh, the visibility is not great for them, so... I don't need to kill every zombie in this building. Oh, yeah, we shouldn't be getting out of stamina here. That's really stupid. So we'll fall back a little bit, wait until we catch our breath. We just want to know, I mean, you know, we're far enough up the road that upstairs we're probably fine. But I ask you, dear viewer, would you want to go to sleep in a building with, with that many zombies that close? I wouldn't. I, I would I would take proactive steps to do something about that. Did, did I put my stupid backpack back on? I did. So speaking of being proactive while not being proactive. What's with all this stuff falling, man? Is this, am I just like unlucky or... Oh, we got infected. Well, that's no problem. <laughs> we'll just splash some antibiotics on that. And we will... Or antiseptic, rather, because antibiotics aren't going to be particularly effective, are they? So that's no problem. You are you don't got nothing on me, zombies. You can't stop me, baby. So you can stop me, though, and I'm going to stop. But not right now. I'm going to wait until we catch our breath, and then I'm going to dump my mole pack before it gets me killed, because that's real stupid. And now let's get back into it. Let's get back into it. Let's, let's do a little... It's been a while since we've, you know... Okay, what are you? A giant dragonfly. I never underestimate the insects because move speed is, is, is what screws you sometimes. So we're just going to give him a little stabby stab. You gouge him for 33. Okay. He grabs us. Okay, we don't need to see if one. So he's dead. Smash him. And we're going to back up. I see there's a solar car there to the left. That could be very useful for our military vehicle so we really don't want to kite any zombies towards that this waif up here this little child zombie is going to scream when it sees us and drag everything over to it so it would be good oh the dragonfly is coming i think i just gotta run i can come back and pulp that later you might be laughing okay well nobody's laughing now man this this could be bad let's see okay I mean, he's he's bleeding us pretty badly. Oh, he's he's pretty screwed as well, though. Did it just say that dragonfly was grabbing me? Okay, he's 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 on the flea. Okay, we killed him. We killed him. That was embarrassing, frankly. We need to get back to our backpack if we want to heal up, because of course we do. So a decent bandages. We'll stop the torso. That's the most important. If you could only stop one, uh, the torso and the head, I think. But the head less so. Hello, Mr. Zombie. You came to check out what was happening, did you? We're in moderate pain now, so we probably don't want to push this too much further. I didn't expect the dragonfly. I think if, if that dragonfly hadn't landed a ton of hits on us, then we probably would have been able to continue this fairly safely, but I don't know how many zombies are going to come piling out of these rooms. Okay, those are, those are dead. That's really good. So we're going to quietly sneak over here. Oh, see, they're primed to start smashing the car the solar panels ah oh, well that one was already broken see that though don't do it i'm gonna run and hopefully okay so i've kited them both to me which maybe maybe not the best 
Okay, no, that went that went okay. We we are our stamina is screwed, but the car is in okay shape. I don't know if it drives. It doesn't really matter though. No, it doesn't drive. Um, or maybe it does actually. Oh, no. This could be. Okay, it doesn't have an engine. That that that'll do it. Uh, there's your problem. So we can we take out these solar panels? What do we need to do that? Bolt turning mechanics too. Okay. We, we have the bolt turning, we just don't have mechanics too. Oh look, a little reward for our effort. Um, oh, we need our we need our mall pack. So we're gonna go and get that. We're gonna go get our mall pack. We're going to wield it. We're going to sneak back on up here. And let me see. We're gonna take this. That's going on the compartment on the boat. You know what compartment I'm talking about. The captain's retirement fund. We'll take some chewy candy as well so we can go back to our room and celebrate. Take the solar cell. I think they're useful for, I mean, it's more useful when they're in the solar panel, but as you saw, our good friend, Mr. Zombie came over and exploded the solar panel. So we're not happy about that. We're, we're not feeling wonderful about that. So we're gonna go back and lick our wounds. We're gonna turn off our MP3 player. God, all of that only used like half of the battery. That's incredible. We know where there are some solar panels. I don't think I did mark the card, but we know where it is. I mean, I'll remember where that is. So we're going to make our way here. We're going to close the door and we're going to go upstairs. Oh, of course we can't bring our cart. Hmm. I'm not going to leave them there. I'll leave the cart like maybe, maybe in here and just hope that nobody smashes that particular window. Did I leave this door open? Look at that. Letting all the heat out. What's the point in paying these heating bills? Have you seen the price of fuel? Crazy. So the captain's back, or rather he's um he's not back. This is his first time staying here. He's uh what what the hell is that? What is that? There's something on my Oh, <laughs> oh it's the it's the bike. Jeez, that was really confusing. I had absolutely no idea what I was looking at there. So, you know, we're gonna close these curtains just because how do you expect the captain to sleep if you know the sun's coming up, blinding him? He's just going to prepare his little sleep, his little nest. There's plenty of food in the in the fridge downstairs, but we got some with us. So we're going to pick a corner and we're going to... I took the hammock, right? Okay, so activate. Okay, you can't use a hammock there. Maybe it has to be like between two trees. That would make sense. I could just read it, right? I could read the description. Uh, could be tied to something and then used as a sleeping place that is comfortable but lacks warmth. Okay, you can't use a hammock here. One more try, one more try. Where where could you tie a hammock? You know? I feel like, you know, if I had those like that and I stood in the middle, I could I could probably probably make it work, right? I could I could make it work, I think. So we're gonna see, can the captain make it work? He can't, he can't use the hammock, so he's going to like admit defeat in the most pathetic way imaginable. He's gonna lay the hammock down on the sofa. And then sleep on top of that. So we're leaving the captain in a different place today. We are in the hunting lodge, which is southeast of Hubbardton. It's not too far away from our base, but I think we're going to continue this little journey. Maybe just loop around here, come back up. I mean, this river is looking pretty big. And that's another thing. We need to scout that whole river, but I don't really want to do it on the emergency boat because I think that's just asking for trouble. So maybe we'll maybe we'll revisit that in the next episode. I think we're getting closer to Operation Big Boat though. We have some mechanics books. We have quite a lot of the tools that we'll need to start working on stuff. And we have tons of cars, or we know where tons of cars are. And generally, I think we have a couple that drive and we know we have a military one specifically for ourselves. So loads of cars for parts and stuff. It's just about getting that skill up. So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I'll see you again real soon.